I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on domain and range. The question is range of y equals to 2x minus 3 divided by x squared where x is not equal to 0 is what? Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we could have different approaches to solve this question. I am going to use calculus to provide you the solution. You could however also do using quadratic equations, right? So alternate method is, let me write down here. So I will do calculus but alternate method is um, quadratic equations. So that particular solution, I will give you a link for that. At present, I am going to use the derivatives to find absolute maximum. So we will use calculus at present. So let me remind you about the rational function. This is the rational function. If you want to sketch this function, which could be in itself a good exercise, we have vertical asymptote here at x equals to 0. We also have a horizontal asymptote, right? Since the denominator degree is higher, we have a horizontal asymptote also. If x approaches negative infinity, in that case, numerator is going to be negative, denominator is positive. So the function will approach from the bottom. However, if x approaches positive infinity, in that case, the y value will approach from the top. Correct? This is one thing very clear. Second thing which is important to understand is what happens when we are approaching 0 itself. So that is to say, if x approaches 0 from the left side, this is negative, that is also negative. So, so in that case, for a small value, we are approaching kind of negative here, right? So the function basically is kind of like this on this side. But if x is approaching 0 from the positive side, small value, in that case, denominator is positive, however numerator is negative. It is 2 times a small value minus 3, so it is again negative, right? So it is again approaching. Since we are approaching right from the positive side, that indicates that the graph should be kind of like this. Do you get an idea, right? So, so we are not sketching the graph here. You could take that as an exercise, right? So for some of you, uh, question could be, sketch graph of y equals to 2x minus 3 over x square, right? That could be a question for some of you. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that we have absolute maximum value. That clearly indicates that the first two answers are wrong. One of these is the right answer. You get my idea, right? Now, how to find the correct answer? What we are going to do is use calculus first derivative. So we'll try to find the critical number. That is, the derivative is either equal to zero or does not exist. And by analyzing the critical number, we'll find absolute maximum. So y is given to us, what is the derivative? Derivative is, we will apply the quotient rule. Denominator square, which becomes 4. Derivative of numerator, which is 2, times denominator minus. Numerator, which is 2x minus 3, times derivative, which is 2x. Now for critical number, 
y dash should be equal to 0. So that means the numerator should be 0, right? That means 2x square minus, uh, if I open this bracket, I get 4x square plus 6x should be equal to 0. Now let's try to solve this. We have minus 2x square plus 6x equals to 0. Taking minus 2x common, I get x minus 3 equals to 0. So we get two critical numbers. So our critical numbers are, well, x equals to 0 is also a critical number since that does not exist, makes it clear, right? But from here also, we get x equals to 0 and x equals to 3. So these are the two critical numbers. Now since this does not exist, since it is not in our domain, we'll worry about this now, right? So clearly that gives us the maximum. So the maximum value is it for x equals to 3. So let's substitute 3 here. So y equals to 2 times 3 minus 3 over 3 square, which is 6 minus 3 over 9 or 3 over 9, which is 1 over 3. So this is absolute maximum. Which comes, which is our option C. Do you see that? Now, if this was not just a multiple choice question, let me extend this and prove. So we'll analyze the first derivative now, which is y dash, we have critical number, we'll only analyze critical number at 3, right? So we'll analyze critical number at 3. So let me take a test point. So let's take a test point on left side, let it be 2, and on the right side, let it be 4. So if I substitute 2 in my expression, then y dash will be, if I substitute 2 here, that's the numerator, it becomes positive, right? So if I substitute 2, so we get 4 times 2 as 8, and that is 12, positive, negative 8. So this value is positive, right? So, so in this side, it is positive. And when I substitute 4, I get a negative value. So that analysis of the first derivative, let me write down. first derivative gives us local maximum in this case but gives us a maximum let me write that now since we know that this function is not really going up to infinity it turns back that becomes an absolute maximum does make sense to you right so that is how you could solve this particular question now as I said in the beginning I'll also provide you with a link so I'd like you to check this link. That is for the students who have not done calculus yet, right? So, so check link. So now there are two things. First, sketch the graph of this function. Second, also check the link so that you understand this function better. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.